Hi guys, I have a new product to review. This is my brand new Ruger 1022 takedown. I bought it recently on a Black Friday deal. Definitely a good rifle to pick up if you get a chance. Um, it does come in a nice black bag here with a lot of hooks around it to place your actual shoulder strap on. Uh, we, I do like to put it this way so you can sling it over your shoulder. It's a good position for it. Uh, nice quality bag. It does come with two front pockets we can talk about in the end here. Uh, there's holes on the zipper to use a luggage uh, strap or a luggage lock to actually lock it up if you need to. Open it up and it does come with a tactical rail with some screws if you'd like to do that. So it looks like it's a weaver. You have a, you have a big pocket, medium pocket, and a small pocket. You can choose what you want to do with the end of the barrel to put it in one of these or extra, any extra ammo or scopes or sights. Here is the first half here. It does come with a 10 round Ruger magazine. Nothing's in the course. Nice stainless steel with a nice black synthetic stock on it. And in here is the other end of the barrel. It does have a flip down rear sight to pack it away nicely. Um, it does actually have some uh, factory burning on it from when it was put together, which is nice. Nice stainless steel, no threading, anything like that. To put it together, all you gotta do is lock the bolt back. And you slide on there like so and twist. And there's actually a uh, adjusting screw right here where if it gets a little loose, you can crank it and uh, it'll tighten up. But right now it's pretty nice and tight. Don't lose your sight every time. Real nice rifle. Um, it's only a little bit more than a regular 1022, especially the black synthetic with the stainless steel. So if you ever want to pick one up, it's definitely a good buy. Um, and then with the bag, you get a little more compact feel to it. You can throw it in the back of the car, back of the trunk when you're going to the range and it won't be as a, a hindrance to pack up. Uh, upgrades you should probably look into would be a uh, new barrel band, maybe one with some tactical rails on it, put a flashlight on there or a laser. Um, the other thing is they do have an auto bolt release so when you get to lock it back instead of having to pull and actually unlock it forward you can actually just pull it back and it'll let go after you lock it back. Uh, and then you can also get a buffer pin inside here so instead of hearing that, that clicking noise in the back you'd hear a little more padded softer noise. Put that right there. And actually over here, you got the loops, tie on some gear, but you actually have three uh, spaces, actually you have two, you have a space for two of them, but you can cram in three in there, and it's actually three of the BX25 magazines, which are definitely a great buy. I would pick up these if you can. Uh, you can put three up here and three up here, um, but I just keep three down here ready to go. And you got the 10 rounder still. Now in here, which is pretty cool, is uh, they do actually have advertising slips when you first buy it with like showing you want, you can fit three in here, and you can fit a Ruger uh, 22 pistol if you'd like, but actually in here, I have an unloaded Walther PK380, my, one of my smaller cobble pistol, pistols, which is a nice fit in there, so I can take that to the range. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.